Hello everyone, um, it's me, K-Cat, or Fujoshi Commentary here, and I wanted to give kind of like an outpouring, sort of like, rambling video. Um, this may not make much sense, as it's only part one of my video. By the title, you probably already guessed this is like a Prince tribute video. Um, it's just basically me talking about how... Prince basically changed my life. Now, I'm not the type of person to get mushy over celebrity deaths and stuff like that. Most of the time, if I see a celebrity death, even if it's someone I kind of grew up with, like Robin Williams, or um, people like Michael Jackson, even Michael Jackson's death, I wasn't really affected by it because it was just like, even though I grew up with his music, it was like, yeah, you know, he was a really good artist, oh well, you know, rest in peace. But with this recent death, there were two reasons why this one really affected me, and one was, it was in the manner of which it was announced to me. I found out on social media, on uh, Facebook or whatever, and it really hurt me because it was on a Thursday and I was already kind of having a kind of uh day, so hearing that news just kind of put me in a slump. And then secondly was because Prince was basically my entire basis for being as weird and bubbly and outlandish as I am today. He basically, his music along with the concepts of me going into anime and manga is basically what got me into sort of learning steps to actually kind of love myself and not really let what people say affect me. Because as most of the people who know me know, that when I was in school, I was the kid who was picked on. I was the fat kid, I was the weird kid, I was the wannabe white kid, I was the unmute name, and whatever insult you could put on me, they did. And basically, it just really, really bothered me when people would say that I was weird and things like that, when I was just, I liked what I like. What was any weirder than what they were liking that was versus what I was liking? You know, and it just really, it, it took me a while to like, get there, and then like, in uh, elementary school and things like that, I was just so, like, depressed. By the end of fifth grade, I was severely depressed. Like, it wasn't just, oh, I'm sad one day. You know, bounce back up there. It was actual depression. Like, I didn't look forward to middle school because most of the kids who picked on me in elementary school were in my middle school. So it was just so depressing and so sad. And then I was entering the sixth grade. And I was super, super, super depressed at this point. And this is really just, it was taking its toll on me and I didn't even want to go to school a lot of the time. But then I decided I was in my basement one day and I was going through my stuff as I had heard his music before and all. But I was just going through like CDs and stuff because my dad and my mom. Have, uh, they keep vinyls, records of different musicians, and they have CDs of different musicians. And I grew up listening to them. And you play them, and my dad would play them in his car and stuff. So I was just looking through CDs to listen to because I wanted to make like some mixtape CD album. This was when the concept of a CD could be made at home. Holy shit, yeah. It was pretty innovative to me. So I was just getting CDs to like rip and make, mix in. And I came across this beauty and it was basically the Purple Rain album and I had remembered hearing of it was Let's Go Crazy and I remember hearing Purple Rain and my dad used to play it all the time and then there were some other songs that my mom had like Adore and a Kiss and I was all into it but I didn't really know who it was by. I loved his music and then I actually took a listen to every song in this album. After two hours of listening to this album I knew every single word from each song. And then I found out there was a movie. <laughs> I didn't believe when I found out there was a movie. I was on that. And then I noticed how meme-worthy this movie was, and I was in love with it. And then my mom was like, I didn't know you liked Prince. And I'm like, yeah, I do. So from then on, basically some of the songs that I looked up, I went online and I started looking at more and more of the songs, and more of those old songs, they were basically about self-expression, being crazy, Let's Go Crazy is my favorite album of all time by Prince. Well, actually, single, you'd say. I don't know why I mix those up. I guess it's because I love the concept of albums more than I do singles. But I loved the song because it's basically my entire life.
Don't let the elevator break us down. Basically pressure. Don't let the pressure get you down. Let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. Look for the purple banana till they throw us in the truck. And it just made me, it just, it really got me through it. I would just listen to the album every day after school. Because back then, you couldn't listen to music at school on your headphones. Because apparently, being quiet and listening to music was more of a hassle for teachers to deal with than having unruly kids. They would rather have unruly kids throwing paper balls across the room instead of a kid listening to their music while they did their work. I'll never, ever, ever understand that concept, but it was a thing. And I would listen to the song and it made me realize how great and how wonderful my life was and I was like, fuck the haters, you know? And I did. And so when I heard word of his death, like I was actually, people don't know this, but I was a, I was a, I drew a couple of old photos, of them. I don't remember where I put them, but I drew a couple of old photos of Prince, they were horrible, I didn't even want to show them to my parents, but now that I can actually draw better, I actually gave them a go, and as you can see, the ones that I posted on my social media, they are actually really good, and I do plan to do a sort of speed draw, uh, Prince tribute kind of drawing, and I also do plan to do a cover of one of his songs. I may do Let's Go Crazy, but I'm thinking of doing maybe another one, one of his lesser known songs, just because I know everyone and their mother is going to do a Purple Rain style song as a tribute to sing to. But in any event, that was just like my huge thing. And a lot of people, he was a beautiful man. Fuck yeah, he was beautiful. Her women flocked to him. Dude was five foot two, but still could score all the hoes. But I'm sure he was responsible with his hoes. Probably watched them bitches choking on that birth control pill like they were choking on that. That's all I gotta say. He was probably one of the most classy men out there. Some of y'all guys need to take some notes on that. Because some of you are classless, sagging your pants halfway down your knees and your ass, which isn't very attractive. You don't gotta look like Prince or have your heels high. You can at least just have some class. I mean, that's what women like in men, class. I mean, we like bad boys too, but... We like class too. Class is a key. But yeah, it's it's been kind of hard for me. I've been kind of masking it on my social media and stuff, and that's kind of why I haven't been working on my videos and stuff. Um, because Prince of Death just like, whoa, hold up, world kind of stopped for me. I had to sit down, I had to be like, what is this? I didn't believe it at first. I had to get, <laughs> I searched up like eight different news sources to confirm this was true. I had made sure it was in a death hoax article because I was just like, wow really like he he literally performed like two weeks prior to his death or a week prior to his death he was performing in my town at the Fox Theater we really drove by when he was at his performance I couldn't go that night but we drove by because I had to go home or something that night he was performing and I'm like what like I followed him on Instagram I followed him on Twitter I was into a prince and I was just like, it just really hurt me, and it really made me sad. And I'm hearing all these Illuminati conspiracy theories, which makes me even more sad. Because people are saying that because he was so vocal about going against the music industry and how they take artists' music, and they're more about money and stuff, and how he really did push for that and stuff, that he was erased from the establishment. And while it makes me sadder because this, he's, this actual set of theories regarding his death could actually be like you could see some of the comparisons going on in your mind. I don't usually follow conspiracy theorists. I think they're nuts and lunatics. But at the same time this one actually kind of was like, well, maybe it was. And then it's kind of the fact that his death my favorite song Let's Go Crazy. Are we gonna let the elevator break us down? And he dies in an elevator. It just, it took me a minute to actually just process his death and stuff, and I, he never met me, he never met me, I never got to meet him, so it's not like it was a personal connection, but at the same time, deep, like, within my heart, it was still, he was one of the people who just had me in his zone, and I got out of my slump. He was kind of a part of me and my personality. He's, he kind of inspired me to go off and just do what I like. And I do plan on doing some tributes to him at several points in time. Um, I've already done the drawings. I will do a speed drawing of how I did it. 
Um, I plan to do maybe like a song tribute. I want my voice to be at least halfway decent to it, so I'm gonna be doing like warm up stuff, so it might be a while before that video comes out. And I probably will most likely, I am, I'm definitely, that's one of my main goals. I'm going to cosplay as Prince for my next con, or at least by the first con of next year. I have to get the funds for that because I can't make things worth a sheet. And I prefer the luxury and accomplishment of saving up for my cosplay and buying the costume. I feel the same amount of satisfaction as someone who made the cosplay would. I might actually make a prop for it, but I can't make costumes. And I don't feel like burdening my mom with making one because I'm like going on 19 years old. It doesn't look right. But <laughs> in any event, that was what I wanted to say. I've been kind of holding it in for a while. Um, I've been kind of acting bitchy because of it. Um, so if I am kind of bitching at you a little bit, bear with me. Um, I just really thought he was a great musician and he really did inspire me. And he kind of inspired me to go forward with my drawings and my art. Whenever I felt down, I would just like look at an interview or something that he did or watch one of his movies. And you know, a lot of people only gave him credit for Purple Rain, Graffiti Bridge, and the one where he was a gigolo. I can't remember the name for the life of me. I, I always see them on TV, but those are actually good pieces of cinema to me, as far as what he had, and I thought they were really great, and it will take me a while to kind of get over it. Hopefully by the time of my next con, which is like in a few weeks, I will be happy, happy, but this, this death really did, it took a toll on me. Um, it just kind of hurt a lot. So I just wanted to kind of, this is just like a... Let's get it all out and kind of let's therapeutically reprieve. Um, I only had like two of his CDs, my parents, and I wasn't able to find any of the CDs at the time. And he's actually one of the many, the very few artists I actually would get music for free. I don't know why I didn't. It was even before like I found out that he didn't like pirated music and things like that. In our, uh, music getting it for free and stuff. I, I never had, I always got the music from the album. For the longest time I didn't even have any of the songs on my like mp3 or phone or on a mixed CD. I would just walk, listen to it on his original CD. So I had great respect for the man. Um, it's just, it's such a sad, sad passing. But I really want to just honor him the way I can and hopefully I can get through it. I know I'll get through it. it just might take a little while. So thank you guys for watching if you got this far and be sure to like if you want to see that beautiful tribute video and my future cosplay and speed draw. And if you have yet to do so, please do me the honor of liking this channel so that you can see some more things and plus I post some of the yaoi and anime stuff that I do. So without further ado, I bid you farewell. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, stay groovy.